Hazel Shakur Quinn, you're a lawyer with uh, Herbert Smith LLP here in Abu Dhabi. And um, I understand that your, con your uh, area of uh, practice is primarily real estate uh, connected um, and that you've been working mm -hmm. on uh, commercial, uh, the commercial market uh, now for some time. Uh, can you tell us about that? Sure. Um, in our, our practice area, we do all elements of real estate, um, ranging from development, investment, property finance, and the occupational letting market. So those are the, the core areas that we focus on in Abu Dhabi, as well as other parts of the UAE and wider GCC. You've been working in the region, uh, you told me, for several years, but uh, it's, a, it's kind of a year since you've been based here, actually. What have you seen in that year? Yeah, that's right. I actually relocated to Abu Dhabi just prior to last year's cityscape. So it's been quite good that I've had the 12 months here to now come and chat with you about what I've seen and what we've seen as a firm, the changes. Um, so I think what we've seen is probably threefold. Um, there have been some changes in the black letter law. We've had some amendments to the landlord and tenant law, law, law 20. Um, principally to, to maintain the 5% rent cap, which is always a, a hot topic conversation. For which we're very grateful, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for the time being, we have the 5% the rent cap. Um, more recently, we've had the, the five-year um, security of tenure for tenants, so your automatic right of renewal. Um, and many people have questioned whether we will continue to have that, but that, that is the current case and will be until November of this year, um, subject to any new laws that come in um, during that time. And we've also had the, the change of emphasis for the Rents Dispute Committee, um, mm. from the responsibility to the Executive Council to the Judiciary. So that's really what we're seeing on the legal side. So we're seeing quite positive, progressive changes. So it makes it easier for you to, to uh, say, protect a tenant or, or a landlord or, or whatever you need to do? It, it helps us um, when we have laws that come out that develop that we can follow. Um, it, it makes things a little clearer um, and it helps develop the, the emirate um, in terms of just the, the regulatory process. So, for example, registration law, there's a clear process of how you would register your lease. Um, so that it's definitely, it all helps um, and that, that links into the transactional side of things where again we're seeing things developing in terms of this time last year. More transactions than a year ago. Yeah and so you, you have a proper conversation and lease negotiation between a landlord and a tenant um, this time last year. You can bargain in other words. Yeah. <laughs> So tenants, you can get a bit more incentives now. Um, you have a proper conversation. Um, you're not expected to sign up to a two-page, one-year renewable lease. So it's a really positive move. And to pay up front, yes. Yeah, I mean, we, we still have um, security deposits, um, but p payment mechanisms are changing, so maybe quarterly payments. But th there's a real shift, and I, I guess the, the biggest thing and probably the most positive move is a move towards transparency. Mm. And I guess the best example of that is service charge. Um, landlords and tenants are now looking for a more transparent service charge mechanism. Tenants want to know what they're paying, what they're getting for their service charge. And landlords seem more proactive in actually listing the services, how they're going to carry them out. Um, so it's, it's maybe a move towards following more mature markets, the UK, Australia, which is, which is a, a, good, a good move in the right direction. Definitely. Are you seeing uh, big uh, companies continue, continuing to try to come in to the UAE? Um, we certainly are. We're acting for a number of um, international occupiers. Um, and I, I, I think that's driven by the new product that's coming onto the market. And um, we're seeing grade A office buildings, mm -hmm. um, good quality kit, um, Mubadala, Suez Square, Alder HQ, TDIC HQ. With parking spaces? Yeah, <laughs> much needed <laughs> parking spaces. Um, and again, it's developers and landlords alike are now thinking ahead and actually building in 
and, and, and looking at what tenants will actually want, what's driving demand, how can they deliver a, a rounded product that will make international investors and occupiers want to, to come to Abu Dhabi. So we're, we're certainly doing more of that type of work. Um, and even the leases and the lease packages that um, these landlords are producing are way more sophisticated. They're not the, we don't want the, the 60 page lease that you'd see in other jurisdictions. There's a, something to be said for that no, fine thank balance. Goodness, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really just getting the basic concepts you'd get in a full repairing and insuring lease in a, in a mature market and, and bringing it and trying to slot it into the existing system and just reaching a, a more a finer balance between landlords and tenants. It's a challenging job for you and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting for the rest of us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.